When a beautiful five-year-old little boy dies in the hospital, heartbreak for a grieving mother who chronicles her child's final days over social media. But tonight, police are asking, did mommy inject a lethal dose of salt into her own little boy's feeding tube? Did Lacey Spears poison her own son with salt? Where a woman gets a thrill out of the power and control she gets when she causes her child to be sick, or she kills it. Munchausen by proxy. You decide that your child has all kinds of illnesses, and it's really because you want the attention. What did you do to her? What are you suggesting? Take my hands. She's losing oxygen. I'm her mother. I'm going with her. Cheryl is slowly poisoning your children. Oh, my God. You are seeing a clip from YouTube from the Lifetime movie, The Good Mother. What I'm talking about tonight, a five-year-old little boy dead dead in the hospital and now police suspect his mother his loving mother who chronicles his final days on social media and let me read you a few things that she says she says please please send love went from fine to really sick in minutes he's completely back to himself but no word on lab results and the sedation meds must have nearly worn off. He's screaming in pain, screaming his head hurts. We laid his bed flat and just wait to see what happens. It goes on and on. I've got pages and pages of what she would post on social media. She watched her five-year-old screaming in pain. And tonight, police believe she is the one that was injecting the child with salt, injecting it into his feeding tube, killing him with salt. I know it's hard to believe. Take a listen to this. This isn't the first time that a mother has been suspected of harming her own child. Over the last few years, several women have allegedly suffered from Munchausen by proxy. Alexis Felton, she was caught on camera choking her 11-month-old baby six times while it sat in her crib in a hospital. Family suggests she had Munchausen by proxy. Kathy Bush, mom accused of intentionally making child sick, forcing her to undergo 40 needless surgeries. Blanca Montano, accused of poisoning daughter for attention, infecting her over and over again with fecal and other bacteria as the child lay in the hospital. Gigi Jordan, accused of... Straight out to Frank Morano, talk show host 970, The Answer. Frank, it's almost more from me than I can take in because I know you, like I, have been reading all of her, her postings that she would write. Garnet is sick with the flu, but feeling, feeling well enough to try out his new homemade paint. He was admitted to Nyack Hospital. He, quote, had a seizure. Uh, he was completely back to himself. No word on lab results. Sometime tomorrow, I will make the decision to remove his life support. Frank, I'm overwhelmed that she could stand by and watch him screaming, having seizures, when she's the one injecting salt into his feeding tube. Nancy, uh, if any w one of your viewers has a heart or a brain, you can't help but be disturbed by this. It's really an incredibly sad situation. Uh, and w while they haven't filed any kind of criminal charges yet against Lacey Spears, the one thing that's clear is that this woman is deeply disturbed and deeply dishonest. Whoa, 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 what are they waiting on, Frank Morano? What are they waiting on? She has been injecting his feeding tube with salt, according to police. What are they waiting on to file the charges? You know, uh, Nancy, I know many people are confused by this, but I actually haven't been elected Westchester County District Attorney yet, <laughs> so I can't tell you for sure. But uh, the one thing that seems odd is that uh, there really seems to be no other reason that young Garnett would have died. I mean, here he had dangerously high levels of sodium even before he died. There's no reason that he even should have had a feeding tube at five years old, let alone having salt go into the feeding tube. And thank goodness for uh, the Spears' neighbor, who, when she was called by the boy's mother to dispose of the feeding bag after Garnett died. She instead contacted the police who tested the feeding bag and found, yes, there was dangerously high levels of sodium in here. It is incredibly sickening. So, it's Frank, let me, get so let me understand something. She had him using a feeding tube at home? 
Yeah, at five years old, even though she claimed that he couldn't eat without vomiting regular food, but when apparently whenever he was outside of his mother's care, whether it was with uh, somebody else or at the hospital, he had no problem eating on his own. So it doesn't seem to jive with what she was saying, that, that he was malnourished and couldn't eat.